first of all, to be virtually wholesaling, you got to find these deals. Yes. And there, and there ain't no inventory to speak okay. of. So everybody wants to know, well, if there isn't any inventory, how in the world are you finding the deals? Well, we got a little bit of an advantage over a lot of other people in the market. Most real estate investors out there stick with certain territories, maybe one or two markets out there. Occasionally somebody does three or four, but for us, the whole country is, is our oyster. Really, that's what we look at. We got inventory anywhere. Or we have preferred states where we like to do business, don't get me wrong, but if there's a great deal in another state where we don't typically do business, we will. Just to give you an example, we've done five deals in New Mexico this year. We hadn't done a deal in New Mexico and I think the previous six years before that. So we just kind of take what the market gives you. If there's a deal there, we'll take it. And we also hit those tertiary markets, those second, you know, the second tier markets. Uh, if you're looking at a, a town or a city like Charlotte, go an hour outside, like a, a town like Kannapolis, uh, Gastonia, and then go another hour outside that loop there. And then you're in like a third tier market. We target those markets because people do want to live there, especially now with what's going on with the pandemic and everything. People are looking to be more and more rural. So it's kind of fit right into what we've done all these years, which is a big advantage for us. Right. So how do you get the leads? Our leads. So for us, it's our own time. So we pay no marketing fees, right? We don't have any marketing costs whatsoever. I had turned off the direct mail marketing in 2013 and just buy exclusively off these auctions. So for me, it's it's really looking at what's on the auction sites right now. We use VAs, we have several VAs that do this for each different auction site, whether it's auction.com, Zoom, Hudson Marshall, Hub Zoo, Realty Bid, Auction Network, you know, HUD Home Store, Fannie and Freddie. We have them go through and they do what I call a first level dig. They look at it and we got kind of give them criteria what we look for, a square footage repair amount. And then they'll send me a spreadsheet on Excel. Yes, yes, no, no, no. So there could be, let's say there's 250 properties on this particular auction that's coming up. We might weed that down to about 20 to 25 that we'll actually bid on. And then as the bidding process goes, if we're getting outbid, we just let those go off. And we just pick the, you know, again, we pick the low lying fruit there. We're not going to go get into a bidding war. Today, for example, there's a property in um, Florida that was in Sarasota, which is a red hot market. It's a nice market. And it was getting, my maximum allowable offer was 141 because there's a buyer's premium on this property. So the most I would spend was 150 because the ARV was 350 tops. This thing ended up getting bid up to 203 with a buyer's premium. It was over 210 that that person's um, purchasing a property for, plus needed everything. This thing needed at least 125 in work. So basically, whoever bought this is probably an end buyer, but they're going to be upside down when all is said and done. So we just we fall off that. We don't. We have our maximum allowable offers that we'll go up to, and you can't get emotional with it, right? That's a nice market. I would like to have been in there, but hey, didn't fit our criteria, so I let it go.